Hey, good morning. Happy Saturday, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Beautiful, beautiful start to the day. 57 degrees right now. Relatively clear skies. A few little thin white clouds up there. Absolutely gorgeous. The tide's on its way in. High tide around 11.30 this morning. High temperatures of oh, around 77 degrees today. Water temperature 74. Wow. Calm out there this morning. Had a lot of waves the past few days. Pretty flat out there. Maybe we'll get lucky and see a dolphin come by this morning. Take a look up the beach there, looking north. Wow, you can see all the way up to Fort Myers Beach. Beautiful. Be sure to hit that share button. Let your friends know what you're watching here. Walk down to the beach, see what we find. See what Mother Nature washed ashore last night. Boy, lots of shells. Oh my goodness. Lots of shells here piled along the beach. Goodness gracious. Actually, it's hard to walk here. There's so many shells. Look at these. These are just piles of shells going down the beach here. My goodness. What all could be down here? Huh. Piles and piles of shells. The bigger ones get trapped in the back here, it looks like. Let's see if we spot something nice here right off the bat. It is really hard to walk along the beach here. There are so many shells. Look at them all down here. Holy smokes. Oh, it's broken. There is part of a big shark eye. There's the eye. You can see the eye of the shark eye or moon shell. Like you can see inside of it. Boy, that would have been a great shell if it was in one piece. Look at that. That's huge. The shark eye. There's a good look at the eye of this shell. Wow. Well, I'd like to find one that big. There's a really big slipper shell. The slipper. Say, why do they call that a slipper shell? Well, I'll show you. When you turn it over, it looks kind of like a slipper. See, it looks like a little shoe, a slipper shell. Lots and lots of broken shells on the beach. There's a top of a big whelk shell, part of a very top of a lightning whelk. Looks like maybe a, the side of a banded tulip shell here. Hmm. There are a lot of shells to go through here this morning. Great morning if you 
Probably want to get out here early before the crowd gets there. It's going to be a great day, great morning for the beach, but it's supposed to rain later this afternoon. Got an 80% chance of rain starting at 2 o'clock. Boy, this is just all shells down here. Just piles and piles and piles of shells. This is where you really want to just just take your time sifting through these. You'll find all kinds of little jewels down here, little treasures. I mean, look at that. Look at all of these shells. I need an assistant out here. They're just all, this is area four, the middle of area four. Man, there's a big olive shell over here. Look at that guy. That's a big olive there, the olive shell. That is a very nice olive shell. Huge, it's huge, Caroline. <laughs> yeah, Caroline's long gone. What else do we have down here? I gotta remember to look up once in a while. A dolphin could swim by at any time. See how flat it is out there this morning. This is the kind of water we wanna see a dolphin come by. Beautiful sunlight, nice and flat, easy to spot them. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Maybe that mama and her baby will come swimming by us this morning. There are a lot of people out here shelling. I can't blame them. My gosh, there are so many shells along the beach today. There's a moon shell, another broken one, darn it. This in the side, the shark eye. Great look at the eye though, the shark eye. Love to find a nice one of those. I just don't have the time to spend out here. The time it takes to really walk slow. But I am telling you, it's a great morning for shelling here at Del Norwigans. Probably all along the beaches here in Southwest Florida. That rough surf we've had for the past few days has really brought some beauties up on the beach. I know a lot of folks have been out here going through them. You can tell. There's a nice little cockle shell. A little cockle. So many beautiful shells here. We got, there's so many scallops down here. And there's tons of clam shells. Just see them all lined up along the beach here. And that tide's gonna come in here pretty soon. These will all be underwater. And this is where you find them really nice ones, right along the edge here. You find the little shells kind of buried in with the bigger ones.
Wow. There's a nice big turkey wing shell. Two turkey wings. Those are neat, the turkey wings. Yep, you can see the waves are starting to pull the shells back into the water. Lots and lots of scallops along the beach. Small fighting conch shell, Florida fighting conch, very common. What a beautiful morning. It's just about 60 degrees now, going to get up to 77 today. Water's nice and calm. We are expecting some showers today, later this afternoon. 80% chance of rain this afternoon. This is area four, parking lot four beach. Five areas here at Del Norwegans. The first, number one, being the closest to the guard gate, the front entrance, and then area five, that's where Wiggins Pass is. That's where you want to go if you want to go fishing, parking lot five. But look at all of the shells. I don't know if you can see them in the video feed or not, just all along here, all along the edge over here. Piles of them. Piles and piles. Hopefully, we'll find something really nice to add to my collection here. Oh, look at this. Here's a really old conch shell. Look at this one. Look how old that is. It's starting to turn gray and fossilize. Wow, that's pretty cool. That is different looking, huh? Wow. That is cool. Usually they're a bright orange color, these conchs. seen any whelks. I haven't seen any whelks or murex shells. Usually we find a lot of murex shells. Lightning whelks. Again, I'm sure there's been a lot of people out here shelling already this morning. They open the gates of the park at 8 a.m. officially. They, they actually open them a little earlier. They've been opening them at 7.30 you can get onto this beach from the county beach at any time. You just can't get into the state park. Nice little scallop there. Missing a little piece of it. Beautiful shells, the scallops. A jewel box, piece of an old jewel box. These are so neat. All these little pieces. The conch shells, when you find them broken like that. That's a crown conch, a piece of a crown conch up at the top, in the, up here where my thumb is. It's a fighting conch. Just pieces of the shells. Well, let's 
Let's move on up the beach. See what we come across. Good morning. Lots of happy people out here in the morning. Soaking in the fresh air. When I say fresh air, you notice I'm not coughing this morning. I think that dirty old red tide has gone away. Thank goodness. Let's keep our fingers crossed. There's a Murex. There's a lace Murex shell, kind of yellowed. That's a Murex. Sit that out in the sun and it'll turn nice and white. Every once in a while you find a big one of these, but that's about the average size Murex shell you find at Delnor Wiggins. Here, look along the ridge line up here at the high tide line. There's just so many shells, it's impossible to see them. See them all. I mean, it'd take you forever to go through these. You could spend your entire life going through these. And you never, you know, you, every time you come back and look, you'll find something different. That's what's so neat about shelling. It's all about the way the light hits them, the shadows. You walk right by, you don't see something, you come back 10 minutes later and look, at, you find a little treasure. Here's, this stuff is cool, this worm rock. Find all different sized pieces of this worm rock. I think it's kind of neat looking, the worm rock. Come on, dolphins, where are you at? This is a perfect, perfect day to spot a dolphin. And that water is flat like that. They'll come right in, right up close to the shore, chasing their fish. We've got a couple families of them that swim up and down the beach. Right now, it's pretty common to see a whole family of dolphins, little babies with them. Those babies are so fun to watch jumping up and down, jumping up out of the water. They're like little kids, the little baby dolphins. Water's nice and clean today, nice and clear. Again, I'm not smelling any red tide in the air. That's a good sign. Just checking out all of the shells piled up along the beach. Kind of walking through them, walking past them pretty quickly here, sorry, but I only got so much time to spend out here. I do what I can. I do what I can to take you to the beach with me. you along on a beach walk try to share what I know with you I don't know a lot always learning every time you come out I come out here it's different no two mornings are the same something different on the beach different weather different people different animals Morning. How are you? Find anything good? Well, I just look for the difference. The difference, know, yeah. The different shade. Or Absolutely. Whatever. I, that, that's what I look for. Just and, something and, that's and not every, the ordinary. Yeah, and every morning there's something different. There certainly is. There's a lot of stuff out here though this morning. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's a great morning. Have a good one. Oh, a seahorse. Look at here. <laughs> Gotcha.
It's a seahorse, but it's a toy seahorse. <laughs> I have found these lot seahorses on the beach, real ones. <laughs> It's sad to see oh, it. Really, you've actually spotted yeah, them. It's, I've, mm -hmm. I've got a couple of them. I picked up real ones, but oh, that's pretty neat. it's sad to see them on the beach. There's a coral reef, you know, just out here. That, oh, okay. And they're swimming around the coral. There's all sure. kinds of neat stuff out there. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, this is this is just an absolutely beautiful place here. Yeah, this is paradise. I yeah. like this. I, I like the idea. I know condos and stuff oh, along yeah. the beach. We're all the way down at. East Naples, about eight miles from Marco, and we love it that much. But we we came up to see Roy. Oh, okay. Um, about, oh, was about two or three days ago. All right. And I spent the whole. You spent the day with Roy. With, <laughs> uh, I sure did. Oh, we, that's funny. We sang songs and yodeled and. He oh, he is a character. He is a character, isn't oh, he? Oh, he's great. Great, yeah. Have Maybe. you seen him on Facebook or anything on the internet? Oh, sure. That's oh, okay. how I, yeah. I knew to look for him. Oh, okay. You know? well. we're, we live back in central Kentucky. Oh, okay. And um, So you saw him up there? Yeah. Okay, well, oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah, he's sort of uh, my local hero. Uh, he's a lot of people's. <laughs> he doesn't understand why. Uh, he's always right. like, I don't under, I don't know why. I'm no, like, you know, people love you. He's like, I don't know it, why. But, but he is just so much fun. He is. And he's real, and he can share stories that come back to him you know just great i love it great memories i he, love sitting there talking to him he shared I mean, the he other day i don't know if he, he's told you this one but he was a captain uh some company called him that owned a, a pretty large boat they had 30 passengers loading up on it and um roy got the call he said i go there and i look at this board all these switches he says i don't have a clue <laughs> he said i finally figured out which one turned it on <laughs> so and he had a first mate that was a little upset because he didn't get the captain job oh. so the first mate was not willing to, to help, help roy yeah. in any way so um well that's funny roy, roy had to deal with that but he finally got it out of he there got, and took he, them all for a ride well, that's pretty neat <laughs> It's a great story. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. he's got, you know, every once in a while, something, you know, sparks his memory and he comes up with, you oh, know, yeah. a really great story. Yeah, yeah. It, you're right. Something will, will trigger. Yeah. It. But, yeah, we were yodeling. Uh, <laughs> I told him I yodeled and sang, you know. And oh, wow. I playing the harmonica and did my old Kentucky. Song. Sorry we missed that. Oh, <laughs> that yeah. would have been great for our oh, Facebook we, friends. We had a great <laughs> yodeling session. I never heard him yodel. Well, I don't know that he had until i started oh, you know and then, then i'm gonna he ask him getting, about that yeah, yeah, i'm gonna say hey i heard you're out here yodeling yeah tell him you yodel you scared the ospreys from away from with ron okay yeah, uh, <laughs> all right well, i'm gonna mosey hey ron it's good talking to you nice thanks to for you. coming and visiting us sure thank you all right have a great day I wish you the same thank you got to love it one of our facebook friends ron from kentucky that is so neat Well, just making my way slowly north up the beach. Just looking for anything different that catches my eye or something that I can add to my shell collection. There's, like I said earlier, piles of shells along the beach. If you look down behind me here, you can see all the shells just piled up. The tide's coming in, starting to cover them up. But that's just piles of shells looking down the beach there. That's so cool. Beautiful. Beautiful. Calm water, beautiful colors. Roy, I am I see Roy's chair up ahead of me, but he must be up at Wiggins Pass. He's spending a lot of time up there. Maybe maybe that's good news. Maybe that means our friend Fisherman Mike is up at Wiggins Pass. We haven't seen him for a while. Beautiful out here this morning. The tide's just slowly inching up here on to the beach. Oh, piece of a lace murex shell here. Looks like it might have been a coconut murex. Just a little piece of one. You can see the inside of it. That's neat. 
That's great for hanging on a chain, a little necklace. Any worm tips? I haven't seen any worm tips. There's a couple worm tips. One kind of broken. Usually a lot of times we find some nice big worm tips. These are just the tips of some worm shells. Fairly common here. Another slipper shell over there. The slipper shell. See how it looks like a little slipper when you flip it over? Peaceful out here this morning. That's so neat. We meet people on the beach here that have seen Roy and I on Facebook pretty frequently. It's just so neat when that happens. And we just met our that gentleman Ron from Kentucky. That was so cool. Wow, there's a piece of a banded tulip shell right there. I haven't found a nice one of these lately, a nice tulip. You can imagine what the whole shell looks like by looking at this piece. They're beautiful, beautiful shells. The banded tulip shells. The banded tulips, the whelks, the crown conchs, all beautiful shells. All can be found here at Del Norwegans. You, you know, usually low tide's the best time to come and do your shelling. When low tide happens early in the morning, that's always the best before the beaches get crowded. They always say the early bird catches the worm. That applies to shelling. Get out here before everybody else. In the, we're in the shade of the pine trees now along the beach. We're up at the north end of Area 4 Beach. Doing a little shelling, a little walking. Wow, there's a big, huge turkey wing shell. It's an old one, but it's a big one. Wow, that would have been a huge turkey wing. Look at that. Wow. That would have been a nice specimen if it wasn't so worn out. There's a different color slipper shell, kind of a brown colored slipper shell. It's gorgeous out here this morning. Looking at a high up around 77. Unfortunately, we're probably gonna get some rain this afternoon. We definitely need the rain though. It is fire season here. It's very dry in Southwest Florida, so we can 
definitely use some rain. Piece of finger coral here. It's a nice little piece of finger coral. There's a nice little turkey wing shell right there. These are pretty common, the turkey wings. But no shell collection is complete without a turkey wing shell. Boy, awful quiet on Facebook for a Saturday morning. Where's everybody at? Looks like a piece of a crown conch right here. It's the side of a crown conch. A little tiny nutmeg shell. Those are neat, the nutmeg shells. That's a little one. Actually, that's a nice size one, actually, for a nutmeg shell. I believe that's a nutmeg. Those are the kind of shells people miss, those little shells like that. So you really gotta bend down and just stare at the ground for a minute, get your eyes focused. Here's a little crown conch down here. A little baby crown conch. A little piece of a baby lightning whelk over here. Kinds of neat little broken pieces of shells, a little worm tip over here. A little piece of finger coral. Lots of interesting stones also, fossils. It's not all about the shells here. There's other things to find as well. You pick up these little rocks, you never know what you're gonna find fossilized inside of them. You find shells, little fish skeletons inside them. You can see there's a lot of rocks right here. Big olive shell. Missing the end there. That's a big olive shell right there. You can find these with the snails in them crawling around out in the water. The olive shells, obviously. You don't take anything from the beach that has a living animal in it. See the tide's just creeping up here, slowly up onto the beach. High tide, I think, scheduled for oh, around 
another piece of a moon shell or a shark eye. Found a lot of broken shark eye shells on the, several big ones on the beach this morning. There's another one. Hope the eye is missing on this one. I want to find a nice shark eye this morning. That'd be that'd be great. Nice big one. Well, it's not a big one. <laughs> It's a small one, but there's a shark eye. See how I just look, I walked right by this and then I look back and I find it, the shark eye. It's amazing how that happens. It's all about the lighting, the shadows, the way the shadows hit the shells on the beach. You walk one direction, you don't see something. You walk back the opposite way and you find all kinds of stuff you missed. It's so cool. It's a nice little shark eye or moon shell, also called a moon shell. Sometimes that little eye there is a bright blue color, and they call that a Paul Newman eye, a Paul Newman when it's blue. Let's see what else. What did I miss? The slower you walk, the more you see. I guarantee it. That's just I'm just kind of skimming over everything here, blowing by. There's a little piece of a, that's a little piece of a Murex. A little slice of a Murex shell. A little tip of a conch shell. That's a little conch. The Murex on the right, the slice of the Murex shell, and the conch on the left, piece of the conch shell. Still don't see Roy. He must be up at Wiggins Pass. Gorgeous morning here. The gulf is almost like glass. So calm out here. Keeping our fingers crossed that maybe we see some dolphins swim by, maybe put on a show for us. That's always exciting. It's the highlight of any beach walk is seeing the dolphins out here. We're up in North Naples, Florida. For those of you that are new to these beach walks who just join us, this is Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. You can see there's no homes or condos here. This is North Naples. There's a mile of beach here at Del Nor Wiggins. Beautiful Florida State Park. We're just slowly making our way north along the shore. Seeing what we can spot as far as seashells or maybe it's an interesting marine life. We were battling the red tide here earlier this week. Fortunately, I think it's clear today. I don't I don't smell any red tide in the air. If there's red tide, you're you can feel it in your lungs when you breathe. Some people it affects their eyes. Sadly, it kills fish. Get a lot of dead fish that wash up on the beach when there's a red tide. It's a red algae. You can Google it, red tide, and learn all about it. There's, looks like a piece of coral over here washed up. Nice little piece of coral. I don't know if that's an, that might be an old piece of worm rock, actually. It's kind of been smoothed out. Interesting. All the shells that are along the edge here. The tide is coming in now and slowly pulling them back into the water. So we'll just make our way up the beach here towards Wiggins Pass, which is at the very north end of the park. 
hopefully we'll see our friend Roy, 93-year-old Roy, World War II and Korean War veteran. He pretty much always has something fun to share with us, an interesting story or something. Wow, here's a big, that was part of a big lightning well. It's just the top, piece of the top side of it. Beautiful as lightning whelks. Love to find one of those and show it to you this morning. It's got to stop. Be patient. See all these little tiny shells? That's where you find some really interesting things. If you take the time to go through them. Beautiful shells. Beautiful colors. No matter how many people come out here and sh go, sh you know, do some shelling, do shell, go shelling, whatever in the morning. No matter how many people are out here, you're still going to find something. It's too easy to miss things when you're walking along the beach. There's just so many shells to look at here, especially this morning. Boy, down behind me to the south where we started this morning, there were just piles of shells. Would you like to be out here walking on the beach with me on this beautiful Saturday morning in Southwest Florida? Check this little pile out here real quick. Here's a, looks like a little piece of a, the tip of a worm shell. You usually find lots of these on the beach. I'm not seeing a lot of them today. The wormy tips, we call them worm tips, wormy tips. Usually there's a piece of a shell on the end here sticking out, but it breaks off. They're very fragile. When you find that, the tip with the shell, those are really neat looking. The more you look, like I say, the more you look, the more you're gonna find. You just have to bend over. Do the stoop. Looks like the park rangers and volunteers, the park staff have gotten all the dead fish cleaned up off the beach finally, thank goodness. They did a great job cleaning this place up. Hats off to everybody here at Del Nor Wiggins. All of our state parks. Oh, here's a nice little worm shell right here. See, this has a piece, a little more of the shell on it. That's a nice little specimen there. The worm shell. Every once in a while, you'll find a really nice, big, long one of these. Eight, ten inches. That's a nice little piece right there. These shells come in all sizes. Look at this. That is a baby lightning whelk. Look how tiny that is. A little hole in the side. That's a little tiny baby lightning whelk. Everybody's out here looking for the big monster sized shells, but there's little treasures like this all over. And that's what people miss. 
And guess whose collection they wind up going to? I can hear the ospreys to the south of me chirping away. They hang out over our friend Roy, just above where he puts his beach chair. You know, a lot of times you're gonna see just a little piece of the shell sticking out of the sand. So you really gotta keep your eyes open. You gotta be vigilant. <laughs> Especially those murex shells. They blend right in with the beach. Want to give you another look around here. It is just absolutely gorgeous here this morning. Look at that water. Look at all the shells in the water. It has all shells on that ridge line there. It's amazing. Look how flat that water is this morning. That's looking south. That's Park Shore. All those condos there, that's the Park Shore area of Naples. You know, I don't know, about six miles south of that is the Naples Pier. Look at that sky. Winter, well, springtime now. Don't forget, here in Florida, we gotta move our clocks ahead one hour tonight. The last time we're gonna do it. <laughs> Hallelujah. No more time changes after this. Isn't that water gorgeous? There's an osprey coming overhead here. I don't know if you can see him, he's gonna fly right over me. He's looking right down at me. He's looking right at me. Right at me, look at him, he's looking at me. He's checking me out. <laughs> that is so cool. He was just staring right down at me. That was neat. He's wondering if I had a fish or something. They'll steal a fisherman's catch. There he comes. Oh, there's another one. There's two of them up there. There, this one, he's checking me out too, he or she. Going right over top of me. Looking right down on me, staring at me. Look at that. Just hanging right above me, looking at me. Ha, that is so cool. That was neat. That was very neat. Oh, here's a nice little black scallop shell. Got a little barnacle on it. A little black scallop with the barnacle. Hey, if you're in Naples, if you're in Whatever part of Naples you're in, you got to at least once, one time, go down to Third Street South, check out the farmer's market. Saturday morning, every Saturday morning, it's a lot bigger during season. Right now, it's a nice farmer's market on Third Street South. It's open from 7.30 to 11.30 every Saturday, except next Saturday. It's not gonna be open on St. Patrick's Day because of the parade. But other than that, it's open every Saturday from 7.30 to 11.30. The 3rd Street South Farmer's Market. Definitely, definitely worth checking out. We got a little video on our Facebook page that we made at Nonstop Naples to show off the Farmer's Market. Check it out. Make sure you click on like and share it with your friends too. Everything here, everything on my page. If you like it, please hit that share button. That's what it's all about trying to build this our little beach community up to 30,000 members. We're almost up to 20,000. Here's a big piece of a this is I call this the stem, the stem of the lightning whelk. Can you imagine how big that shell was? It's just the bottom of it. see Roy making his way down here towards me. I'm just gonna say hey to him real quick. 
There's a piece of a Murex. Piece of a coconut Murex shell. Maybe we'll run into Bill here. Looking for his shark's teeth. He's out here almost every day looking for shark's teeth. He gets pretty lucky finding shark's teeth. Not me. There's a little baby olive shell. I showed you some bigger ones earlier. There's a nice little tiny olive shell. Oh, here comes Roy. Creeping up behind me on the beach here. Say good morning. Hey, Daddy-O. How are you doing? Wonderful, wonderful. What a day, isn't it? Beautiful morning. Glorious day. A little cool, a little cool start, but boy, it's nice yeah, now. Cool start, but boy, no. It is beautiful. Yeah. You're way overdressed now. Yeah, you aren't kidding. I'm getting <laughs> back there and pull it all off. Any dolphins? Beautiful, flat no dolphins. dolphins. No dolphins? I but around they... the corner, a guy said he went way around the corner down by the trees, and there were seven vultures in the trees. <laughs> yeah, well, they've been here because of the dead fish. I imagine you so. Know, all those dead fish that were on there. It looks like they got vultures. I didn't see any I told him it was lucky they didn't carry him away. Ah, they'll carry you and me away, the vultures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I thought maybe you were took so long for you to get down here. I thought maybe Mike was up there this morning. Well, there was another lady, boy. I must have talked to her for a good half hour or more about everything. So oh, wow. That was nice. She was the one who took that cruise down to Antarctica. Oh, right. I saw her walking yeah. by. Yep. And there was another lady going over to Spain, too. Wow. That's going to be quite interesting. For going to be there for uh, Easter, I guess. And they ah. put on a big lot of pageantry over a lot of spiritual stuff. I, got, I, found, I learned something new about you today. About me? From a Facebook friend oh, I met I, on the beach this morning. I, I, I hope it's uh, favorable. His name is Ron. He's from Kentucky. Ron. He spent. He, he said he spent quite a while with you on the beach the other day, singing and yodeling. Oh, yeah, the yodeler. He said he got you yodeling. Oh, yeah, from Kentucky. Yep. That's right, Ron, yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, we had a good time. I didn't time. know you yodeled. Oh, sure, but he can really yodel. I wish you were still here. I would have liked to get the two of you together for some yodeling. <laughs> but I'm going to come back and get you to yodel. Hopefully we won't scare the ospreys away. <laughs> well, he could really yodel, that guy. He That's something. Good one. <laughs> I learn something new about you every day. Yeah, <laughs> Whether we're it's good time together. <laughs> yep. I'll be back down there. Are you going to go back down to your spot there? Well, or? i got to go down the other way for 10 minutes, and I'll be back. All right. Hopefully, I'll meet up with you hey, there. Hey, wonderful. I See probably... Bill. I haven't talked to Bill lately. He, Bill is gone, I think. Today, he's going to some sort of a shrimp festival. And, oh. And then uh, tomorrow, he's going to kind of pack up or oh, something. Bill's he might, getting he might be here tomorrow, he said, unless it rains or something. Oh, he was, I wanted to see all of Monday's, the shark's teeth he Monday's got. Monday, he's head newt. Oh, head newt. Head newt. <laughs> Back to the ranch. Yeah, everybody seemed to be leaving. Well, you and I are going to be the last of the Mohicans. I here. love it when we have this place to ourselves. Oh, well, the old friends are sure fun. Oh, it's fun. You get, your odds for your hugs are definitely increased when everybody's here. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I'll okay, check in Rob, with you. Great oh, you got a belt holding your britches up there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> down pants, I don't need them anymore either. You are quite the fashion statement this morning. <laughs> I'm just covered with my Arctic clothes. Uh, <laughs> but it wasn't quite as cold as I figured. Yeah, it was colder yesterday. Yeah, oh boy. Yeah, that wind. <laughs> yeah, wind was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a bit. Have a good day, yep. Rob. Our good friend, Roy. Oh, that's too bad that Bill's leaving. I wanted to see all of the shark's teeth that he found this season while he was here. Here's another. Look at that. Here's another nice little worm tip. I'll show you. This is this is kind of the norm right here. This worm tip right here. That's what you find, the worm shells. That's what you normally find on the beach. But then when you get lucky, you find them like this. They have more of the shell, not just the tip. So there's two nice ones that I found this morning. I'm going to keep them. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with them. Darn it. This is a shell that I really want to find. This is just the bottom, just the bottom piece of a banded tulip. They are such beautiful shells, and I just keep finding broken ones. 
Well, actually, it is the top. I'm sorry. That's the top of the banded tulip. See the tip there? They are gorgeous shells. You can imagine, like, just looking at the colors of this little piece, what that whole shell looks like. They're incredible. What do I see here? Nope. Let's move up the beach a little further. The tide is slowly coming in here, slowly covering up all the shells. You can see we, we had a lot of waves here, a lot of wind and waves earlier this week, and it eroded, washed out a lot of our beach here. But the state does not do anything to re-nourish this beach. They just let Mother Nature take her course. This beach comes and goes. It's constantly changing shape and size here. And it's still here. It's been here as long as I've lived here and it's gonna be here long after I'm gone. So Mother Nature knows best, that's for sure. We don't need to interfere with her. Hey, be sure to hit that share button. Let your friends know what you're watching here, if you enjoy it. Oh, I thought that was a moon shell, or a shark eye. It was a little tip of a, of a worm shell, a little piece of a worm shell. They're all buried in the sand here. This is where you find all these little little gems. Yeah, I'm seeing, let's see if we can find a little baby whelk or something, lightning whelk or funk. See all these little shells in here? This is what you want to, they call it the Sanibel Stoop when you bend over Sanibel Island because Sanibel's world famous for its shells. People bend over, sift through the shells, they call that the Sanibel Stoop. I got it unstoop here you, some of you probably know what it's like as you get older when you bend over it's hard to straighten up sometimes what is this what was this another piece of a banded tulip shell gosh darn it i want to find one of these banded tulip shells These are, these are neat little shells here. Find these all over, up and down the beach, different sizes and colors. It's called a kitten's paw. The kitten's paw. Oh, here's a shark eye, it looks like nice one another nice shark eye shell this morning this is number two we found some big ones but they were all broken this is a nice one look at the pattern on the side of that that's a beautiful shark eye i believe these are belong to the nautilus family of shells the shark eye that's a nice one Very, very nice shark eye. You see, people have been up and down this beach all morning shelling, and I just found that. I mean, it just goes to show. There's no bad time to come out here and shell. Good morning. Oh, let me show everybody that. Look at that. Rob. That, Rob, yep. Diane Calvin. Diane. I'm one of the posses. Oh, hi. Look at, one of, oh, you're in the posse? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Look at that beautiful piece of coral. That is finger coral. That is beautiful. Let me show it to everybody. That is beautiful. That's a nice find. Yes. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Diane. Thanks. Another one of our Facebook friends. It is so neat meeting people on the beach through Facebook. You need to come out here and introduce yourself. Come up and say hi to Roy. He gets a big kick out of people coming up and say they saw him on Facebook. If I don't run out of batteries, we'll go say hi to him. See if he's got a story to share with us. Or 
A lot of times they'll come up with a thought or a word for the day for us. Gotta love them. We're up in air. Oh, look at all the pelicans going by. Just beautiful out here this morning. I almost didn't come out this morning. I'm like, oh, what the heck? I thought it was going to be too cold, but guess what? It is warming up really, really nicely here. The only thing is going to rain this afternoon. We got an 80% chance of showers this afternoon, so we need the rain though. I'm not complaining. It's very dry here. Fire season in Southwest Florida. Other common shells here, the scallops. Find all different sizes and colors, scallop shells. Just saw something I wanted to pick up. There's a little spiny jewel box what's left of the spines. Sometimes you'll find these and they have these little, they look like needles, all look like little porcupines with the spines on them. These are kind of worn off. The jewel box. Pretty little pink color inside of the shell. Be sure to check out Nonstop Maples on Facebook. It's another organization that I'm involved with. Together, we just try to share the fun things to do here in town. Southwest Florida Television's more about the beauty and the nature. Mostly this beach right here, to be honest with you. And Nonstop Naples is more about the restaurants and the shopping and the activities. Make sure you like both of our pages, Southwest Florida Television and Nonstop Naples. I'm just going to go a little further north and then turn around and head back. Been out here for a long time already this morning. Another nice olive shell over here on the beach. The olive shell. Just remember, all of these shells at one time had something living inside them. All these shells along the beach, that's kind of mind-boggling when you think about it. These are all living, had living something or others in them, snails, mussels. Another scallop. Interesting colors on that scallop shell. broken. thought it was a little baby murex. It's part of a coconut, a coconut murex, a little baby coconut murex. Half a one. Just move on north here. Good morning. How are you? Good. How's the fishing? Any? Yeah. Boy, there are a lot of shells on this beach this morning. Just look at all these guys down here. Great morning to come out here to the beach and do some shelling. Great morning. I, I promise I didn't take them all. There's plenty of shells out here for everyone. Although I'm trying. <laughs> uh -huh. There's a piece of it. There's another piece of a shark eye, I believe. Yeah. Oh no, that's the the tip of a conch. Just the top of a conch shell, the very top. Where's another nice nutmeg shell over here? Those are beautiful little shells. Those nutmegs. Now 
later. If I have enough room on my cell phone here to download this video, I will download it in a little higher resolution before I repost it on Facebook and send up, I post that on YouTube and I'll put a link on Facebook where you can watch this entire video in a little better quality than the live feed. The live feed comes and goes. The quality, if we, if our internet connection, our Wi-Fi connection gets weak, the picture gets blurry. But the repost that I put on YouTube is usually much clearer. So you definitely want to check that out. Plus, I get to brand it with some ads. Sorry, but I got to make money. Somehow, we all need money to pay our bills. So the YouTube, a little ad will pop up when you start watching the video, but it goes away. If you like what you see, click on the ad. That's, that puts a whole half a penny in my pocket if you click on the ad. <laughs> oh, here's a beautiful shark eye. It's, missed, it's got a hole in the side. But look at the color of that. I keep that one. That's just got some beautiful colors. That is beautiful. That is a gorgeous shark eye right there. Nice hole for a necklace. Nice hole to put that on a necklace. I know somebody that would like that. I don't know if I'm gonna make it up to the end here or not. I got to start heading back. <laughs> this beach walk is going on forever. I love it though. I'm like a kid in a candy store walking along here looking at all these beautiful shells. It's really fun when you meet somebody on the beach and they share their, their findings with you. That's always neat. Great beach walk. It'd be awesome if we would see a couple dolphins come by. That's always the icing on the cake. That's a great end to a beach walk. A little chat with Roy and a family of dolphins coming up close to shore, putting on a little show, jumping out of the water. I always say if we see if we see some dolphins in the morning, it's gonna be a wonderful day. They're like our good luck charm, the dolphins. These are our shell trees. All these shells used to be upright. We had kind of like a little canopy up here that you'd walk under the trees along the shore. But Hurricane Irma came along and knocked them down. Shame on her. These beautiful sea grapes. There's a lady out there shelling. She's got a basket out there with her. Find sharks, shark's teeth can be found here. If you watch that little video of our friend Bill, he finds shark's teeth all the time. And you usually find the shark's teeth just out in the water, just offshore. Occasionally you'll find them washed up on the beach. Ask me if I found any, the answer is no. I found one. And I lost it. I put it in my pocket. My, I guess I had a hole in my pocket. I lost the darn thing. But they're out here. People find them all the time. There's people that find hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them out here on the beach, the shark's teeth. Well, this is the north end of the park. Up by Wiggins Pass. Give you a look around the corner here, just past the trees, and we'll head back down south to check in with Roy 
and call it a morning. It's so calm out here. Beautiful colors. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. Where's the top of a fighting conch? Beautiful shells, the fighting conchs. I didn't see any along the beach this morning. Any big ones, that's the tip of the Florida fighting conch. Just the top, the crown. <laughs> There's a turkey wing down there. A turkey wing shell, got a chip in it. It's beautiful up here. Well, this is Wiggins Pass up here, up in front of us. On the other side of Wiggins Pass, that's Barefoot Beach Preserve, another beautiful beach. This is where you wanna come if you wanna do some fishing at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. The North End, this is the only place you're allowed to fish. The rest of the beach, the park, is reserved for swimmers. No swimming up here at the North End. Fishing only. Fishing and shelling. Hmm. Look at them all. Look at all those shells down there. This is paradise. For sure. We are blessed to be able to enjoy this, this weather, this beach. Well, it's time to turn around and head back down to Area Ford, see Roy. That share button we're gonna be get hit the wind's gonna be hitting us in the face here I don't know how bad it sounds on the microphone it comes and goes good news is no red tide I don't feel any of the effects of red tide it looks like they cleaned up all the dead fish no dead fish on the beach we're back to normal here. Beautiful. However, it is going to rain this afternoon. 80% chance of showers this afternoon. So you might want to get out here early. Get out here now. If you're close to downtown, the downtown area. You might want to go check out the 3rd Street South Farmer's Market. Great, great veggies, foods, handcrafted products, all kinds of things, not just fruits and vegetables. The 3rd Street South Farmer's Market. Here's a little Sam Piper. I believe that's a Willet. Two different, two different types of scallop shells right there. My worm shells over there that I'm hanging on to. I don't want to put them in my pocket. I don't want to break them. The scallops on the right, the worm shells on the left. that song scallops to the right worm shells to the left here I am <laughs> what is that
Ha! Huh. Two shells fused together. That's pretty neat. Wow, two shells that have joined together. That's cool. Lots of folks starting to show up. The park, if you go to the park's website, Del Norwegian's Pass State Park's website, you'll see the hours are from 8 a.m. until sunset. But they do open the gates a little early during the season. They open up at 7.30. They won't be doing that probably after tomorrow with our time change. Remember to turn your clocks ahead one hour. Probably the last time we're going to be doing that. Hey. Good morning. How are you? Good. Give you a look up the beach here. Back where we just came from, up towards Wiggins Pass. Ooh, wait a second. Something's catching my eye. Ta-da! I wanted to find a whelk. It's not a big one, but it's almost, it's a perfect one. Look at that. A beautiful lightning whelk. Look at that. It's a little one that just, and, believe, and I just walked by here minutes ago and 20 other people did, and they missed that. That is a beautiful, beautiful little lightning whelk. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Beautiful color on that one. Wow. So let me show you the whole entire thing there. That a beautiful little shell. Great finds. What a beautiful find. What'd you find? Oh, just a little lightning whelk. Uh, they're pretty when they're young. Yeah. Nice colors on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't find, I didn't get them all. There's plenty more up there. <laughs> Uh huh. Yeah. Exactly. That's kind of one of the best you got that right. <laughs> the crown conch, though, is my favorite shell. I'd love to find one of those. The crown conch and the banded tulip, beautiful shells. It just goes to show, you know, you walk by the same place and you never know. You, you miss things the first time, the second time. So there's plenty of shells out here to be found. And there, there are a lot of them are small. Little jewel box. Oh, I said I was gonna turn around, show you behind me to where we were, were just up at the north end of the park. And then I spotted that lightning whelk and I got all excited. Can you blame me? Beautiful, look at that sky. Wow, just gorgeous out here this morning. We had a great beach walk this morning. Found some nice shells so far. It's not quite over yet. It's not over until we check in with Roy. Look at all the shells out there in the water.
What did I miss down here? Gosh, you just never know what all is down here. There's so many beautiful things, interesting things, mossy arcs. That's a mossy arc shell. Lots of mossy arcs on the beach. Mossy arc, lots of worm rock. Find lots of different sizes of this worm rock. Sometimes you can find some pretty huge chunks of this worm rock. The olive shells. That's another common shell, the olive shell. The jewel boxes. Jewel boxes we find everywhere. In all conditions. The worm tips, the worm shells. There's a, there's a worm tip. There's a couple nice worm tips there. Little lightning whelk that I picked up earlier. Shelling, it's like, you know, they say you gotta stop and smell the roses. That's what you gotta do with shelling. You gotta stop and Take some time and look through them all. You never know what you're gonna come across. What is that? Uh, that was an old shell. It's all pitted. Just crumbled when I picked it up. time these waves come in they kind of uncover another little layer of shells the colors are just incredible out here this morning the blues and the greens Gulf of Mexico, as seen in North Naples, Florida. This is all new, this erosion along here. That just happened this week here. We had some pretty heavy winds and waves pounding on the shore. I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but there's, you know, there's actually people that live here, live in Naples and Southwest Florida, and they don't come out here to these, to our beautiful beaches. I know there's people watching that would give their right arm to be out here on the beach with me, but there's people that live here that don't come out to the beach. It's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. In the summertime, you can come out here and have this place to yourself. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Is that not a picture right there? sand sculpture over here, what's left of a sand sculpture of a sea turtle. Before the erosion, it had four little baby turtles behind it. All that's left now is the mama, the mama sea turtle.
Just gorgeous out here. Just slowly making my way south down the beach up in North Naples. We started, oh, just a little before eight this morning. Had a wonderful walk. Met some great people. Found some great shells. Now, hopefully we're gonna get to see Roy one last time before I leave. Maybe he'll, hopefully he'll have some words of wisdom for us or thought for the day. Just never know. Maybe I'll have him break out his harmonica quick. Hey, be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. That is if you enjoy it and if you enjoy these beach walks and my posts. I enjoy doing this. Every once in a while, somebody will be kind and make a little contribution. That's always appreciated. That helps pay the phone bill. Very important for doing these beach walks. Nobody pays me to come out and do this. So if you like what you see and you want to make a little contribution, thank you. You can find my PayPal info in the description of this post a little later when it gets reposted. And I'll also upload a little higher quality version of it to YouTube. It's only 720p video that it gets saved in, but it's a little better than the live feed. The live feed gets a little fuzzy at times. Nothing I can do about that. It's all about the connection. There is no Wi-Fi out here at the beach. So it's all cellular. You can hear the ospreys chirping. Huh, where's Roy? There he comes. He's coming up the beach. I see him walking towards me. Probably getting low on batteries here. Oh, I see our friend from Kentucky, Ron, over here. Maybe the two of them will give us a little yodeling. That will be something different. Never heard Roy yodel. Could be a first. So definitely you want to check, you want to be here for that. Ron is another one of our Facebook friends down from Kentucky and I just met him this morning. It's amazing. The people we meet here on this beach that have seen Roy and I on Facebook. It's one, we're just one big happy family here. and Thank you for joining us. There's Ron. I was just talking. I was just talking about you. I'm like, hey, I see Ron's still here. Maybe we will get to hear that yodeling <laughs> with the two of you guys. Yeah, I think so. That'll be fun to hear. He's making. He's slowly making his way back here towards us. He. Uh, we also recited poems that we had both written. Oh wow! His, of course, and to Audrey. Audrey, isn't that something? Yeah. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go. This is gonna be interesting. Roy and Ron, maybe we'll get a yodel out of them. There's Roy coming up the beach. For those of you that are new to these walks here, Roy's 93, just turned 93. It's December 20th, just before Christmas. Had a fun little party out here at the beach for him. No, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you to come up here and yodel away. <laughs> yodel, hey, oh, he's, a, he's the yodeler, I'll I, tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what all the birds do when you guys start yodeling. 
Oh man, they all take off. For they Siberia. take off for Siberia. Yeah. Uh, oh man. Oh boy, what a good time. It is beautiful out here isn't today, it isn't it? It is. I just love it. This sweatshirt's too much now. Oh yeah, you aren't kidding. I'm getting out of it all. Yep. <laughs> beautiful too. Nice and calm. Maybe Ron will go for a plunge with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Well, what? Jenny's gonna be down after uh, one o'clock or so. She can go in too. Oh, okay. Oh, Bill, he's gone. Yeah, he took off. Oh, oh what a shame. Yeah. I was hoping to see. He was going to bring all the shark's teeth out that he found this this yeah, this trip, right. but I missed it. <laughs> Darn it. Hey, Ron. Ron brought your stuff out here. Gear. Yeah, you got your gear over I, here. I told you I'd help you with these things. Yeah, thank you. Sure. I don't quite know your setup yet. But there you go. Yodel's all ready to go. Ah, uh, you know. It's you a, got it all warmed up there. Yeah, I think so. Wow. Yeah, I've been talking to enough people. To there you go. Going. We've got our, right above us here in this tree, right up top here, that's an osprey nest. That's our mating pair of osprey up oh, there. Boy. Hopefully, the yodeling won't time. scare them away. <laughs> what a good time. It is beautiful. Yeah. No two ways about that. They were talking rain about... Midday, yeah, there. between two and three, eighty percent chance of rain today. Lord, doesn't hardly look that way. No, it? but you know we need it. Yes, we, we definitely need the rain here. Can I help you, Roy? No, no. I, just to... I know you got a routine. He, yeah, you can't interfere with no, Roy's no, routine. You don't, you don't mess with what's not. I mean, broken. ninety-three years old. He's set in his <laughs> ways. Trust me. He's stubborn. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't have to be that age to set up a trip. <laughs> no, it's getting out of it though. That's the problem. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, we can set them up and get in them, but getting out's the hard part. <laughs> I tell you what, when I bend over to talk with him on Facebook, sometimes it, yeah. it's oh. a challenge getting up oh, after squatting down, down for 15 yeah, minutes. I'm telling you, Rob, I don't pick up anything less than a quarter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and every move has a sound effect. Oh yeah, uh, a crack, yeah. a creak, a uh, uh. Isn't that right, Roy? Every move's got a sound effect. Yeah. Uh. Mm -hmm. a little creaky. Yep. Oh boy. You got your harmonica with you too, Roy? Oh boy. So we'll get a little yodel here in a minute. Wear funny hats. <laughs> yeah, you have to wear a hat. <laughs> While you're getting set up, I'm going to give everybody a quick look at the water again. There you go. Hey, what a good time. Getting ready to hear Roy and Ron yodeling. This is the first on our Facebook page here. We had a great morning shelling. Man, we found some beautiful shells this morning. Look at them all down here. There's just a line of shells in Area 4, just all the way down the beach. All the way along Area 4 Beach. Found a couple nice moon shells. Got this, found this great little lightning well. Beautiful, beautiful little lightning well. That is about perfect. Perfect lightning well. You never know. I could just stand here waiting for Roy to get his chair set up. And who knows what, what else I can find here. There, look at that. There's a, there's a beautiful little beautiful little olive shell. Still got the tip on it. It's a great little olive shell. That's a keeper for sure. No matter how many times you walk the beach, you're going to find something new every single time. Just all the way the light hits it or the waves, they uncover layers of shells, you know, as they come in and out. All right, it looks like our gentlemen are about to set up here on the beach. Roy and Ron. Well, I think before you yodel, I think you need to warm us up, Roy, with um, a tune on the harmonica. Well, we'll think of 
Probably well, he does my old Kentucky that's what I was going to suggest. Since you have a Kentucky in here and we have yeah. some Kentuckians watching, we have some other friends from Kentucky. Yeah, that's right. I think my old, my old Kentucky home, yeah, would be a nice little song on the harmonica for us. The posse extends pretty far north. The posse does. Yes. He doesn't, he doesn't know about his posse. He's not. You know you got a posse following you, Roy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I just met one of your posse members earlier on the beach. Oh, yeah. Yep. Diane. Yeah. The, Diane's with me. Oh, She's Diane's right, with you. That, oh, okay. That's her chair right there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah. Down for the count. Yeah, we've known Roy for over a year now, thanks to you. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. Well, where's the... Where's that harmonica? Roy? Where's that mouth I'm organ? settled in for the duration. Where's About the six old... six months. Where's the old harmonica? I think I forgot it. No, I don't think so. I don't think you can travel without that harmonica. The yeah, old we got, owner. We got 302 people watching you right now. Holy mackerel. Oh, 306. I better not hit, hit any sour no notes. No bad notes on the harmonica. Well, you got to get him a yodeling. That's more interesting than my harmonica. Well, we're going to do the yodel right after one harmonica song. And we're going to watch those osprey take off. <laughs> Where are we born? Louisiana. That's what we're doing? No, you're going to do my old my Kentucky home. My old Kentucky home. home. Oh, sun shines bright? Yeah. yeah. Where does that start? And see? <laughs> it's always sure. a good place. We're at, since we're at the sea. Very good. Yes. That was great. We gotta get him out of <laughs> yeah. Churchill Downs, Rob. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go the for the next you derby. Can start the derby yeah. next year. This year. There you go. Oh, yeah. 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 That's yes. awesome. Well, what was your last name again, Ron? Ron Green. Ron Green. Ronaldo Verde in Spanish. Oh, yes, Verde, yeah. <laughs> it exactly. actually translates. It does. You know? Isn't that crazy? Very smoothly, too. Yes. So Ron is a yodeler. And well it's um something I've played with since my very first Swiss Miss commercial. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. funny, Swiss Miss. Yeah. That was a long time ago, huh? Oh, it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's now, hear let's hear a yodel. Now, Roy has uh, has quite a hidden talent in that field, too. Oh, really? My yodel is nothing compared yeah, to Yeah, but you're a great echo. He's well, let, the real Swiss Well, let's hear, Roy, let's hear Ron, then you, and then you think you can do one together? Sure. Yeah, we'll work on that. All right. We can do so let's hear Ron's yodel first. Okay. There it is. That is incredible. Bring out the bring out the cocoa. That is amazing, Ron. That is excellent. Well, for the folks back in Kentucky, I've done that in Mammoth Cave, and what a beautiful oh, echo! Wow. That oh wow! Oh boy! Yeah. I, I bet, bet that is. Bass, it's a lot of fun. I bet yeah. all the bass flew out there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a dying art, though. It is. It? Yes. I mean, people don't really. I mean, there's a lot of people don't even know what yodeling is. Yeah. My grandmother did it, and I think that's when I first she, heard she it. Taught you, did she teach and, you, or did you uh, just... I just listened and, and tried to go along with her, sure. Her name was Ida Copas, and she was a cousin to a, a, a grand old Opry star named Cowboy Copas. Wow. Cowboy Copas was killed in the plane crash with Patsy Cline. Oh. And uh, so we've got a little Opry yeah, behind that yodel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. I didn't know you ladies could yodel because I thought you'd go from a lower to up to... to oh, ladies, Falsetto, yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. There were a lot of those country stars that early on, early Opry that yodeled quite a bit. Well, I'm curious to hear Roy. 
Okay, we're got no pressure. No pressure. Now, should right? I give you one line? Right? I mean, it isn't any See? big deal. I guess. Oh, we missed it. Are Do you it kidding? Again. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> okay. That's all there is. That's a good start. Try How this. about Ron teaches you one? Yodel little he. 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 See there? There you go. You got that, it. Look at that. <laughs> He's so you gotta his go way. faster. That yodel little he. That's it. You just look at that. that tongue around. He's him telling you. You're a quick zeroing. study, Roy. He is. <laughs> He's zeroing in. That is amazing. He's a good teacher. The Ospreys are yodeling with you. Yeah, they love it. They love it. Oh, that's so much fun. So, do you have another one? Another yodel? Yeah. No, but I do have something that Roy does excellent. Okay. He showed me Johnny Weissmiller's Tarzan yell, uh, which puts my yodel uh, to shame. <laughs> All right, Johnny Weissmiller, yep. a.k.a. Roy has Tarzan. Yeah. Has Roy, we're going to start call, calling you Tarzan. Yeah. Remember when he grabbed Jane and, and the vine? And swing oh, through the trees. Oh, 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 oh. They swing on the line, clutching Jane. You see how, you see how humbled I am, Rob? I mean, he took my yodel, just, just stole my thunder. I'm Gawa, Simba. Yeah, I remember watching that as a kid. That was great. You know what? I got to meet him when I was a little kid. Yeah, you met in Miami. Yeah, was he already an Olympic? Swimmer, yeah, I mean, he, star. Was, he was Tarzan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's he awesome. was quite. A, I mean, he did all his own stunts and everything. Yes, he, he was did. an incredible athlete. Yeah, so he swam the Australian crawl. They called it back in those days. He must have got it from Australia. I don't know oh that. yeah. And and before him, nobody knew anything about it. They all just swam the breaststroke. Wow. And he came with a crawl. He was so far ahead of everybody. And, so then they all, of course, then well, they, they learned... filmed like all the underwater stuff here in Florida in Silver Springs. Oh yeah. Yeah, when he's fighting the alligators and everything, oh, sure. that was all done sure. up in Silver Springs. Oh, Very good. My. Yeah. Yeah, Roy's got that little bit of history about yeah. Johnny. Do that again. Let's hear that Tarzan yell one more time. <laughs> <laughs> he grab Jane, he swing on the vine. I love it. Isn't that good? That was good. Listen to those You know pipes. what? They said that was a combination of different animals and stuff that they mixed <laughs> together to make that sound. Well, and look well, at that's you. Of the apes. That's Apparently what, apes that's what uh, Tarzan did when he was calling. Yeah, yeah. when he called all the animals Tarzan. to come help him. Yeah, yeah. 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 when he needed Tarzan's their help. Bad guys. Yeah, you yeah. don't mess with Tarzan. And you'd see the, the elephants stampeding. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't mess with Tarzan, the whole jungle nope. will empty out on you. <laughs> yeah. That was such a I show. wish he'd come and call some of these pythons. There you go. <laughs> get yeah, get yeah, them all rounded up. Oh my god. You know, gosh. television. Yeah, you know, that was the good old days of television. Oh, yeah. You know? And we sat, yeah. I mean, as a kid, I was glued to those shows like that. Nowadays, it's what the kids are watching oh, on TV. Oh, absolutely. It's but, you so know, graphic there, there's and... a rebirth on the, uh, what is it, Me TV and the Western channel. Yep, they channels. got Me. They, the me. You know, these, oh, yep. we, didn't, well, yeah. we didn't have television. We went to the movie show for a nickel. All right. That's where we saw I mean, you, all the You rode yeah. on the back of a dinosaur, didn't you, to go to the movie theater? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rob. I love those old Westerns, though. I mean, we, oh, we yeah. had heroes as kids. Oh, yeah. And when we would go out to play and we'd all select what cowboy hero we were going to be. Yep. Um, John I, Wayne. Uh, yeah, I mean, everybody was either Roy Rogers, Gene oh, Autry, yeah. Hopalong Cassidy, yeah, Whip Gene Wilson. Autry, that's right. And I chose, uh, apparently I didn't know that this guy was not a cowboy because it sounded like a cowboy to me. So I was always Long John Silver. <laughs> And oh it God. turns out he was a pirate, yeah. and I'm running around the on a horse. Pirates were fun. <laughs> it was fun to be a pirate. <laughs> I'm out there yeah. galloping with a make-believe horse, <laughs> and he's a pirate. Oh, oh well. Ship? When did, when did older, your heart finally get broken? Oh, when did the, my first movie, I think, uh, was it Treasure Island or oh, something like funny. that? <laughs> and I thought, no, he can't be a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> he's a cowboy. <laughs> oh, it was crazy. But we, you know we had heroes, oh, yeah. and that was that yes, was the did. great thing about growing up then. And my gosh, in, in Chicago where I grew up, um, when the streetlights came on, the kids came in. 
Right. That was the rule. That was a signal. Yeah, yeah it was. The sun goes down, yeah. time to come home. Exactly. And we were blessed with the fact that they took a while to warm up. <laughs> you know, we knew time. we had about 10 minutes till they were fully yeah. lit. <laughs> That's what I grew up in Miami, and I mean, my kids, my parents, they just let, we'd be out all day. We didn't even go in the house. They'd bring, put, put food out, sandwiches for us, you know, <laughs> yeah. and drink out of the garden hose. Oh, you know? sure. That's how you yeah, did it in the old days. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was great. It, it really was. I remember on Saturday mornings, Rob, I, I'd be laying in bed and I'd hear my friends' voices outside, you know, and I thought, oh, I gotta get up. Well, it's like seven o'clock, you know, there's no reason to start that early. Yep. But if I could hear my friends talking outside, I knew I was late. <laughs> So I'd get out there, and what are they talking about? How they wish they'd stayed in bed. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sometimes they'd even yell through the bedroom window. Oh, oh yeah. No, yes. Get up, you sack right? Yes, exactly. Well, don't you remember when you were grounded and yelling out the window to all your friends? Because <laughs> you're grounded oh, in yeah. the house. Oh, that's right. You couldn't, <laughs> you know, go, out you couldn't go out because you were bad, and all your friends right. would torment yeah. you by coming to your oh, window. Yeah. It was the walk of shame. Yep. <laughs> you walk to the door with your head hanging yep. down. I'm sorry, I'm grounded. How long? Yeah, it could be, could be years. I don't even think kids get grounded nowadays. No. You know, I don't think no. there's any punishments nowadays. It's, no. And sadly, I, I think that's contributing to yep. a lot All of the problems. looseness yep. that we're, we're seeing the out craziness. there. Craziness. It's just craziness. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it really is. well, thank you for hey, our thank you, Ryan. It's so nice meeting you. Tarzan I love it session. when we meet our Facebook friends. Oh, it's face great, to Rob. Face. I yeah, love I mean, it. I've I love it. I've been a year, you know, following Roy. To get down here and, and meet this gentleman. I, I kept thinking, Roy, you just stay healthy, man. I'm coming. <laughs> yep. Oh, and he's, he's not going been, anywhere. We'll be, we'll be for another he's done We're going to be down there at sunrise. On December twentieth of his hundred on his hundredth birthday, oh my we're gonna be at the pass at sunrise. Well, you yep. can you can bet that's before we head out west for the Iowa. There you go. You can bet this posse member will be there. That'll be great. Thanks, that'd be fun. Thanks, Thank everyone. You. Roy, always a pleasure. It's a delight for me, that's for sure. And all your I love. Oh, well, there's not anybody walking the beach. Darn it! I want you to do Tarzan again. They all, everybody just stopped and turned around. They did. At it wasn't his yodeling. That's the, no, yeah. it, was, it was Tarzan. Let's hear Tarzan and then a yodel from Ron. Here's Tarzan. <laughs> I think there's a tiger coming down I'm the saying, beach. I think there's a bunch of gopher tortoises <laughs> running along the beach up here. Yes. They're stampeding. Oh, and now right. here's a beautiful yodel from Ron. A final Ron. yodel. Yodel little lee, 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 Bye, good. everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> you, there's hearts coming across here like crazy. Oh, man. We'll see y'all later. Yeah, Thank you. you. Have a wonderful Saturday. Thanks, Rob. God bless, Roy, and tally ho. <laughs> oh. Ron and Roy, what a treat, huh? That was different. It is just absolutely incredibly beautiful out here this morning. Beautiful friends, beautiful weather. Beautiful seashells out here. Look at the water, just gorgeous. Look at how beautiful that water is. There's a fighting conch shell there on the beach. The tide just making its way in. We had a great time shelling this morning. We are so, so blessed. So many beautiful people out here. Well, be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Remember, I will post a link to a little higher quality version of this video, which will be uploaded to YouTube later today. You can watch the entire beach walk, provided I can download it to my phone before the battery goes dead. Thank you, everybody.
Southwest Florida Television. I'm Rob Stan. God bless.